Executing a SQL script on the Passport database is pretty straightforward. We'll start off with the .sql file. Here it's on my desktop. Double-clicking the file will start up the SQL Server Management Studio environment. If the uh, text, the script itself, doesn't show up in the query pane here, then go ahead and minimize Management Studio and double-click on that .sql file again. What we want to do is have the connection window pop up. We want to connect to the database server using SQL Server authentication, using the SA login and password. So pressing connect, that window will go away and will be connected to the database engine. Uh, the script itself will then show here in the query pane. The first line of the text, the first line of the script, shows the database that it's going to be executing the script on. Note that you do not want to highlight any text and then press the execute button. Make sure nothing is highlighted. But then go ahead and in the toolbar there is a button called execute with a red exclamation point next to it. Go ahead and press execute. The pane will split into two. The bottom part of the pane will show results and as you can see and if you scroll down everything should have executed successfully. There should be no red error message messages, no red error text. So that's basically all it is. So that script was executed successfully. You can go ahead and exit out of the management studio environment and you're done.